Hello, this is Crossing the Sticks, and this is the Guild Wars 2 news for January 13th, 2012. Today I have a bit of catching up to do, but luckily the Char plushie is still in stock for those of you who want it. Besides that, there are the awards for Guild Wars 2 in 2011, some interesting facts about leveling and progression in Guild Wars 2, and an explanation of the skill bar for those who want to know. So let's get into it. Plushy, 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 plushy. The Char plushie is back in stock and can be bought in Europe from the NC Soft merchandise store and in North America from the Penny Arcade store. And yes, it is looking as awesome as it was before. Plushy, plushy, plushy. On ArenaNet's blog on the 6th of January, a long list of awards for Guild Wars 2 was put up. Now, obviously the game isn't out yet, but people are even now giving them awards because they are looking forward to it. Some of the biggest awards include Game Informer having it as one of the most anticipated RPGs of 2012, MMORPG.com's Most Anticipated MMO Award, Massively's Most Anticipated Game for 2012, 10 Ton Hammer's Reader's Choice for the 2012 Most Anticipated Game, and a special series on PC Gamer. Many more awards were given, and if you are looking to see which ones in particular, you can click on the annotation for the link or in the description. Leveling is a gigantic part of any MMO. For most people, it's what soaks up the majority of their time, and it only gets harder and harder as you get higher and higher in level. Guild Wars 2 rejects this. The progression system is not exponential, instead it is linear and quickly plateaus. This means that very early on the levels will have the same amount of experience as the final level. We don't know what level the experience, excuse the pun, levels out, but we are assured that it is early on thanks to this helpful and slightly exaggerated graphic. The final thing to talk about today is the skill bar. I think the thing that makes many people worried about Guild Wars 2 is the size of its ability bar. It only has 10 skills. But that is not the limit of your character. All but two professions can switch out their weapons, which switches out skills as well, and those that cannot have other ways to get different abilities. For the professions that do swap weapons, there is an easy hotkey to switch weapon sets, and it can be done in combat. This will unlock new skills on their skill bar, making it easy to quickly go above and beyond the normal 10 limit without reaching all over your keyboard. For the Engineer and Elementalist, there is no weapon switching. With the Elementalist, there is an attunement mechanic, which lets the skills switch between four element themes. This gives access to a huge number of skills when used correctly, and totals to far more than with weapon switching. That being said, you do need to memorize a ton of different spells to actually use it efficiently. For the Engineer, he can switch between different weapon kits like the flamethrower, different backpack kits like the med kit and grenade kit, and different turrets like the rifle turret or the thumper turret. This gives each profession far more than their regular skill set, and also allows a tactical choice in which skills you want on your hopper in any given situation. But this has been Crossing the Sticks, thank you for watching! I'm thinking about changing the title of the show, perhaps the Terriot Times or the Guild Wars Gazette? Feel free to let me know what you think. And remember, you don't have to cross the six in order to find Guild Wars 2 news. All you have to do is come right here. And I will see you next time. Plushy!